what's popping. I wanted to talk about this uh, specific um, topic uh, pertaining to the persecution that is going to come to uh, the church in America. I mean, it's already happening in Canada. You can Google it right now. Uh, pastors, churches, um, even the, the 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 certain compromise in a lot of churches, and as well as the U.S. as well. But I, I wanted to speak on the reality of uh, sh uh, street ministries, street preaching, just evangelism. Period. There will be a time which I've shared on 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 a previous video recently when I was preaching down in Chicago. But there will be a time where the government will crack down on the church. Now, what I mean by that is, is that just like our other brothers and sisters in Christ that are in different countries, maybe they're in communist countries, or maybe there's high persecution and things of that nature. I, I wanted you, I, I want you, I want you to, I want you to know this, that um, we don't have, uh, there, there's a short window. Now, I don't know when this is going to happen. But there is a short window um, of of what the church can do openly with, with freedom, right? We we have freedom to do these things. I remember um, even two days ago, uh, a brother that uh, is a friend of mine on social media. We never met in person, but nevertheless, he does ministry in Pakistan. And so when he does ministry in, in, in Pakistan, it looks different for him. And what he messaged to me when I shared my, my video of me street preaching, he said, brother, I wish I could do that. But where I'm at, there's so much opposition to the gospel um, that I'm not able to do it in that way. And I was like, man, I, I know America's so weird. The church in America is spoiled. But I don't think we take advantage collectively of the church in America collectively, not saying nobody does it at all, but collectively, I do not believe that we really take advantage um, of the freedom and things of that nature. So persecution in this way is coming. Um, you know, churches will have to, uh, um, you know, in, in order for churches to stay in buildings, um, you know, kind of like the storefront churches where it's just kind of out in the open, um, there will be a time, just like in China and different countries, the churches that you see physically in a building, those are the compromised. When that time comes, those are the compromised churches. And then there will be underground churches, meeting from house to house or meeting in private places where nobody knows and, um, you know, keeping it on the DL, just like, you know, not telling anybody, um, you know, where this church is gathering. So the, 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 the persecution is coming. Um, we will not be, I will not be able to openly preach um, the way that I have been. Um, they will lock us up. They will threaten us. They will do those certain things. So, I mean, it's happening in different countries. Um, I mean, especially if you tune into David Lynn and his ministry, you see what's happening in Canada. He's being a major voice of what's happening in Canada. And it's really helping me out to kind of gauge where this is headed because even now in Canada, you have to have the card that reveals to you of your results of, from the, you know, uh, from the virus. And so I'm, I'm being careful with the certain words so I don't, you know, get blocked out with on YouTube, but, um, in order to get in order to get into Canada, you need to show that card um, that you have the shot, you know, um, and even certain other countries, Australia, things of that nature. So I believe um, through discernment, I, I believe it's conditioning the masses of people, not just the church, but conditioning masses of people um, with regard to the shot, you know, the cards. Uh, that are required to do this, that, and the third. I believe it's leading up to uh, what is to come. And so I just wanted to share that with you, uh, not to scare you, um, but to warn you to prepare yourself, uh, to prepare me in the midst of what is going to happen in the future, um, that it will not always look the same for us in America for the church. Um, and even for, you know, um, 
believers that that have a passion to evangelize this is our this is the best time ever more than ever i can feel it every time i wake up in the morning this is the best time ever to get out to the highways and byways now obviously not everybody's called to a street corner i understand that just do it at your job um but obviously any believer can go out to a street corner with other believers and labor together so that's my message uh on this particular day um, if you haven't already please subscribe like and comment and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and um and until then stay tuned for my next video god bless you